Hey, what's going on there guys? You've officially arrived at the 420 scene and today we're going to talk about Epsom salt and why you need it in your arsenal. But first, show us some love and support by watching the entire video, dropping a like, subscribing, and tapping the post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And also, check out our sponsors, Robert Bergman's ILGM and Mars Heiser for all your horticultural needs. Also, be sure to join our VIP Patreon program for tips, monthly giveaways, live streams, all that good stuff. Link will be in the description below. And also, don't forget if you want to come and sesh with us, check out some of our grows. Follow us on Instagram. Link will also be in the description below. Now, Epsom salt is the best and most natural way of adding magnesium and sulfur to your plants. The benefits are totally astounding and there is little risk of overfeeding. Epsom salt looks like salt, you know, like you would find like kitchen table salt, but don't be mistaken. Epsom salt is also used in health and beauty products in the form of bath salts, exfoliators, muscle pain relievers, migraine relievers, and no that treat cold and flu-like symptoms. Now be cautious, do not use these forms of Epsom salts to feed your plants as they are often mixed together with all sorts of dyes, alcohol, aromas, and other ingredients that are likely to damage your plants. So make sure you get the right kind, don't get the wrong kind here. And if you want the right kind, go to Rite Aid or your local drugstore, go to Lowe's, Home Depot, because that's where the real men shop. <laughs> I don't know, I always like to troll people that try to be real men, you know what I'm saying? Epsom salt is a completely natural way of giving your plants an extra boost of both magnesium and sulfur with the added benefit that you really can't go wrong with it. Now, excess feeding of your micronutrients will not have a negative effect on your plants. It's like almost impossible to oversaturate the soil over time. I mean, it's easy to use, easy to get, and it's super cheap. So now let's talk about the magnesium part in the Epsom salt and what it does for your plants. It's like the organic version of Calum. I mean, there's, of course, there's nothing wrong with CalMag. You guys saw my photo on IG, me repping CalMag. I love CalMag. Heck, I use it, but Epsom salt is a great alternative. It's a great organic alternative. Magnesium facilitates your NPK, you know, your nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Now, should a magnesium deficiency occur, it's easy to detect due to the yellowing of the leaves, except in the veins. This contrasts with the typical nitrogen deficiency where the entire leaf is going to turn yellow. Magnesium deficiency also tends to manifest first in the lower sections of the plant with the yellowing leaves curling slightly upward. Magnesium is also highly implicated in photosynthesis as it facilitates the creation of chlorophyll. It also strengthens cell walls which is responsible for plant vigor and steady growth. Magnesium is essential to achieve those superly high yields. If you want to get some high yields, you got to have that magnesium in there. I know a lot of people want to load up their plants with phosphorus, potassium, all that stuff, but you know what? You got to have that magnesium in there to get the super high yields because if you're gonna get deficiency, magnesium, every time you get a deficiency, you are lowering your yield, so just look at it that way. Now, to form big flowers, you need a healthy dose of this element, and furthermore, magnesium is essential for seed formation as well. Bet some of you guys didn't know that, right? Now, let's talk about sulfur, since Epsom salt has sulfur as well as the magnesium. Sulfur is one of the building blocks of the plant's immune system, and sulfur works together with magnesium to increase the uptake of NPK, and is implicated in the production of enzymes, amino acids, and vitamins. Chlorophyll also requires sulfur, but an area where this element is particular interest is when keeping mother plants. Sulfur helps to promote longevity and reduce environmental stress. Mother plants are kept in veg for inordinate amounts of time. As your plants are not a perennial species, this can pose a nutritional challenge and Epsom salts certainly alleviate the issue of constant maintenance. Cough. <coughs> Sorry. You good? So now that we know Epsom salt is super beneficial for your plants, now what about applying it? We all know it's good for you, but how much do you have to put in? How much do you need? Epsom salt is very forgiving. I recommend giving your plants a ratio of one tablespoon per gallon, and you can use it as a foliar spray as well. I know I saw some articles where they recommend one tablespoon per five liters. That's a little bit over a gallon, so cut it a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Even though it's forgiving, I like to just ratio it out as one tablespoon per gallon so it just kind of makes it easier for everybody now of course you could use this as a foliar spray and soil that has a high ph like 
over 7.0 will naturally lock out calcium and magnesium ions. So amending with some Epsom salt is totally a great idea. In the case of treating a deficiency, you should allow three to four days before evaluating the results by verifying new growth patterns and recovery from the less affected leaves. So as your plant keeps growing, that's how you can be able to evaluate when new leaves start to come in. More affected leaves may be scarred by magnesium deficiency and will never fully recover. What I like to do is if it affects like one or two leaves, just pluck it off so you don't have to deal with it. Now, like I mentioned earlier, there's nothing wrong with using CalMag. And if you've been using CalMag for a while now, or you're like, oh man, I just bought a new bottle of CalMag, by all means, go ahead and use it. But using Epsom salt is just a more organic approach. It's more of like an FYI. So, you know, when you run out of CalMag, I mean, you know, CalMag is like, I know it's like 15 to $20 at your local hydroponics store, whereas Epsom salt, I mean like four or five bucks at Rite Aid or Home Depot or whatever, you know what I'm saying? All right guys, so before I close out today's video, I wanna thank everyone in our Patreon community for showing all your extra support to the channel. It really means a lot to me. It's definitely helped me out, helped the channel out a lot. So I'm gonna close out today's video. Be sure to drop a fat thumbs up, drop that fat like, and subscribe for more content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, stay safe. Peace.